If you are familiar with Stalker and its mods, there is a good chance that you might have heard about Gunslinger mod. Gunslinger is essentially a weapon overhaul mod for Stalker Call of Pripyat, and it is one of the, if not the best weapon mod for Stalker. It features high quality weapons complete with upgrades and attachments, not to mention the magic that has gone into making functional dual rendered scopes and weapon flashlights in the X-Ray engine, which I still can't wrap my head around. Anyway, a week ago I stumbled into a reddit post about the Gunslinger adaptation for Shadow of Chernobyl and I decided to give it a try. In case you didn't know, Gunslinger is officially available to Call of Pripyat only, so any other adaptation is ported over by other people. I went ahead and got the mod file along with the English translation and dropped it into my SOC root folder and launched the game. And to my surprise, it worked. Like holy shit, I expected this thing to crash on startup or fail to launch in the first place. But thankfully, it all worked fine. Now let's talk about what the mod offers. There is not much to say honestly as it is a near perfect one to one port of Gunslinger to Shadow of Chernobyl, complete with fully functioning detectors and artifact hunting, attachments and even implements a working repair system. Some changes I've noticed were the super realistic gunplay and guns now will always shoot where they are pointing as implied by the crosshair. And there is also this weapon inertia when moving or looking around which is not that much of a hamper I guess. Other than that, the storyline is preserved from start to finish. You still go through main story quests and running errands for other NPCs for the sweet rubles. And speaking of which, you're really gonna need them because everything is expensive, as the economy is fucked and everything is twice as expensive, and repairing a stalker suit for example with 50% durability may cost you around 8000 rubles. Overall, I cannot explain how fun the experience was and I highly recommend you give it a try if you're looking to replay Shadow of Chernobyl, a game that really shows its age. Getting this mod up and running is fairly easy. All you need to do is get a copy of Shadow of Chernobyl, the mod itself and the English or German translation. Once you have everything, you want to grab the contents of the Gunslinger mod and drop it into SOC's root directory, then do the same for the translation. Choose the language you want and drag and drop the game data folder into SOC's root directory. Then open the binx64 folder and double click xrengine.exe and you're pretty much golden. This has been a relatively short review and more or less an install guide. With that said, thank you all for watching and peace out.